Hello and welcome to Dawn Chorus Writes, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction and audio fic. This is a new series called Plague's Day Out and it is a companion piece to The Princess and the Cheese. So I hope you enjoy it. It is written by Sheikha, narrated by Dawn myself. Hello! And yeah, I hope you really enjoy this. It's a really fun little piece to go alongside of it. Massive shout out and lots of love to Arkataza for her commissioned art piece for the thumbnail so all her information is listed down below make sure you go and send her some love make sure you send Sheikha some love by for writing it all her information is listed down below make sure you send me some love by smashing that like button comment down below what you think of it and what will happen in the next part and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on this one and other series and other one shots to come and enjoy Chapter 3. Plague Tells the Truth It was fun listening to Marinette and Adrian dance around each other, but once they got to the bakery, Plague needed to move things along once more. He sniggered as he eavesdropped on the kids' conversation with Marinette's father. Really? Everyone knows about the two of them except for him? Poor kitten. Well, he would be fixing that fairly soon if he had his druthers. Hey, Teeks, have Pigtails grab me some of that cheese bread, okay? Where are you off to? I think Kitten's ready to face the music, Sugar Cube. Don't worry, leave him up to me. Plag, I'm warning you, she said with a menacing glare. Only Tiki could manage to look both cute and terrifying at the same time. If your silly idea backfires on Marinette, then Flush cheese will be the least of your worries. Don't fuss, Teeks. I got this. It will help them both in the long run, remember? Huff! <sighs> Tiki grumbled under her breath as he passed through the nearby wall and up the Marinette's family apartment. Adrian was sitting at the table with one of his sappy grins on his face. He didn't even notice Plague was there. His kitten was off in some dreamland again. At least it was nice one if his smile was any indication. Time to shake things up a bit. What's up, buttercup? Adrian jerked out of his chair, almost as bad as Marinette had earlier in the library. Plague? How did you get here? I thought you were downstairs with Marinette. Oh, I slipped away to see how you were doing, kid. Enjoying your date? Adrian's eyes narrowed and he crossed his arms. This isn't a date. If you hadn't gone gallivanting off to play Cat Noir with my princess, then I probably wouldn't even be here. Hey, I'm the original kitten. And yeah, I know. You're welcome. Don't call me kitten. It's embarrassing, he muttered, holding his white overshirt open for him. Are you coming back or not? Plague scoffed at him. No way! I'm having too much fun. Pigtails is amazing after all. She thinks I'm cute. Plague rubbed his chest proudly and purred. Too bad she doesn't know about your addiction to stinky cheese. That would cure her real quick. And what was with the buttercup crack? You know that's the nickname of the boy Marinette Lose. His brain finally caught up with his mouth and he sat there, stunned. He just stared at Plague, mouth open in astonishment as the gears finally meshed. Wait, does that mean that... What do you think? He caught up to pace, running his hands distractedly through his hair. Marinette loves me? Why? How? What? Forget that you were a famous model for the last half hour, have we? Come on, Plague. You know Marinette isn't that shallow. Besides, she hated me when we first met, remember? She assumed I was like Chloe, a rich, snobbish brat who thought he was superior to everyone else. She's too honest and real for it to be that superficial. Something clicked in his memory. 
Oh, I really am Buttercup, aren't I? Yep. So, what's your problem? She's pretty, sweet, kind, smart as a whip. Well, apart from loving you. The Kwame snorted in laughter. <laughs> and don't pretend you didn't enjoy cozying up to her today. Adrian glared at him. Hey, I was trying to get you back, you little menace. <laughs> sure, kid. Whatever you have to tell yourself. But I know better. I've been around the block several times. And it's always the same. You like her. Just admit it. But I'm not. I'm just. Ugh, plug! I'm just now trying to get over you know who. And yeah, I like Marinette a lot. More than just friends. But have you forgotten I'm Cat Noir? She once confessed to being in love with. Him, me, and I turned her down. What the girl doesn't know won't hurt her. But I don't want to lie to someone who I care about. Not like this. The little black Kwame dove for his face and grabbed him by the nose, forcing Adrian to stare at him cross-eyed. Adrian, ask yourself this. Do you care about her? Does she make you happy? He swallowed hard. There was only one honest answer. He nodded. Yeah, I do. She does. Plag let go of his nose and patted his cheek briefly before floating out of range once more. Then man up, buttercup. Princess is coming up the stairs. He flew off through the ceiling towards Marinette's room just as the door opened. In a few minutes, Tiki joined him for a brief happy reunion with the other Kwamis. Right. Now, Sugarcube, Kitten is primed and admitted to me that he cares about your bug and that she makes him happy. Now, we give them a few minutes to settle in, then we get started. His partner looked weary. I don't know, Plag. I'm not sure that you annoying Adrian where Marinette can see you is a good idea. Why not? It's genius if you ask me. Because she'll get easily flustered and distracted. How is her going to fool Marinette nervous on the boy going to help him bring them closer? He flew over and put a paw around her shoulder. But that's why it's perfect, you see? She knows that I know she's in love with Adrian. So as far as she is concerned, I'm playing her wingman. As far as Kitten knows, I'm just being nosy. Aside from your little bug having a minor meltdown, I don't see how it can go wrong if she's trying to help him, but can't tell him why. Plag? She leveled a glare at him that could melt diamonds. This isn't a matter of you just doing this for fun, is it? Come on, Sugar Cube. When have I ever... The Great Chicago Fire, she interrupted bluntly. He nodded. Granted, I still blame the stupid cow. But I told you goosing the cow was a bad idea. And I had just discovered Welsh rabbit. I was practically drunk on cheese. He crossed his paws and turned his back to her. I dare any responsible court to even try to convict me. Tiki flew in front of him. Her paws crossed and dialed her glare up to even further. If you mess this up, I'll have Fluff send you back to 1000 BC. Been there, destroyed that, he scoffed. He leaned into his face and tapped his chest with a paw. Before cheese. He swallowed hard. Got it, Deeks. She eyed him sternly for a long moment before easing up on him. Fine. What do we need to do? 
Thank you for listening to Plugs Day Out Part 3. I hope you enjoyed it. But, oh, I love these little snippets between Plag and Tiki. They're so much fun. Um, make sure you go and send Tika some love for writing it. Make sure you send me some love for narrating it by smashing that like button. Comment down below what you think of it and what will happen. And remember, Princess and the Cheese comes out first. That's side A and this is side B. Um, so make sure you comment down below. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on the series that are happening at the moment and other one shots to come and I hope you're good and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!